So hello, my name is Peter Mortola, and I am the co-director of the School Psychology Program here at Lewis and Clark. And I, in setting up this information session online, I happened to run into Katie Gregoire out in the uh, student lounge, and I asked her to be part for the first minute or so of this info session to share a little bit about um, her position in the program and um, ask her to just say a couple things about it your experience so please do all right Katie. so yeah my name is Katie Gregoire and I am in my third year of the program here at Lewis and Clark which is the internship year so that is a full-time internship in one of the surrounding school districts of the Portland area um, so I am in North Clackamas School District which is the surrounding southeast part of Portland and all the way up to Happy Valley if you're familiar with the area um, so three things about my internship is that are that uh, in my school that I'm at, I have my own caseload, and there is a behavior classroom, which means the students have really significant challenges in their lives and in their education. So they are in one place where the curriculum is really focused on social skills and really just how to access their education. Um, there is a lot of behavioral consultation that is done at my school, so figuring out the function of students' behavior and um, applying interventions to help them succeed. And then the third thing is that... I think you're describing the kinds of assessments that you... That's do. right. Um, so um, the biggest part of my role is doing evaluations for students to qualify them in special education under the 13 qualifying categories. And then you were saying something about how the program mm -hmm. released you into internship. Right, so the way the program is set up is the first two years, the first year is really kind of broad, you learn about global things and subjects in school psychology, and the second year is your practicum year and it kind of zeroes in on some of the roles that a school psychologist might have. So by the third year in your internship, you really are set up for success, and it's kind of a gradual release into the real world and into the role of a school psychologist. Okay, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna um, go to some slides now. So thank you once again. Thank you. And I will uh, let you go back to your report writing. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to start back at the beginning here, which is we are at the uh, Lewis and Clark Graduate School. And uh, this is actually a picture of our campus here on a, a nicer day. Uh, we have some of those here in Portland. Um, I wanted to describe how we're also part of the Graduate School of Education and Counseling. Um, there are three departments, Teacher Ed, Ed Leadership, and our department, Counseling Psych. Within the Counseling Psych Department, there are three big programs, Professional Mental Health Counseling, Marriage Couple Family Therapy, and Us School Psychology. And this is a picture of some school psychology students running a group at a local middle school. Um, I failed to mention that I also teach the group counseling class. These are some of my students. Um, I teach the development class, development and learning, and I teach an expressive arts therapy course as well. So I want to say a bit about the future of the whole profession, which is uh, really well regarded at this point, ranked really highly as a, a much needed profession. Um, as retirees uh, reach retirement age and as new challenges in schools emerge, a high growth rate, new jobs are expected to develop and a very low unemployment rate for the profession of school psychology. Now, school psychology is a very particular profession, and um, as Katie was mentioning, she has a, a lot of involvement with special ed students or students on their way to getting special services in the schools. We do a lot of work with consultation in the program, behavioral, academic. We do a lot of work with actual interventions and counseling within the program, and we do a lot of work with assessment within the program. So we're also nationally approved by the National Association of School Psychology, which allows you to get the National Certificate of School Psychology, which allows you to move um, pretty easily between states. Um, an ed specialist degree is a <clears throat> mid-degree between a master's and a doctorate. So it's a very significant degree. Uh, it is uh, a 
at least 60 credits as required by NAS. Um, we're very um, closely aligned with the national domains of training for school psychology, which allows us to be uh, uh, approved by the national body. Very rigorous process, not easy to um, work on, on program improvement year after year, but we continue to do that. So we have a very diverse faculty. Um, some of us write uh, and publish and speak and present, and Elena and I, the co-director of the program, Elena Diamond, uh, and I have written a chapter in this book, Handbook of Child and Adolescent Group Therapy. We also have faculty who are practitioners in the field. This is a mix of us here. Um, so we have folks who are actually working in Portland Public Schools or in Beaverton, local school districts who teach in our program, as well as folks who are focused more on academic and research interests. So a nice balance within the program. A very good focus on culturally and linguistically diverse students. Um, social justice advocacy is part of our mission as a program and as a whole grad school. And that is uh, definitely implemented in not only where we situate students, um, but also the curriculum that's in the program. So this is a picture of our last year's cohort. Um, I wanted to show you this picture because uh, we really emphasize the development of the cohorts and the community within those cohorts as they come in to the program. Um, one of our adjunct faculty graduated in 2005 and he says he is still in touch with each person in his co graduating cohort. So they become a professional network and a personal system of support as you're going through the program. We also have second year mentors, the first year and the third year cohort mentor the second year. So there's both within cohort community and then across the program. Very big emphasis of our program. So this is a picture of the uh, graduating class last year, all of whom uh, were secured jobs before they actually graduated from the program. I think there was one person who finally secured it in August. Uh, they tend to work in the local school districts and over time uh, serve as mentors for our students and um, supervisors for our practicum and internship students as they move through the program. So this gives us a really good connection with these community schools. We've been here a long time as a program. Uh, we've established relationships with school districts like this one. This is David Douglas School District, Ron Russell Middle School. This is where I teach the group counseling class. These are the kinds of students, the kind of diversity that you can expect to uh, encounter and work with. 63 languages in the district, um, an incredible linguistic and cultural diversity and an incredible opportunity for our students to learn in. Uh, it, is, it belies the you know, normal reputation of Portland as not being very diverse. We make sure our students have uh, incredible opportunities to work with diverse students as they move through the program. So this is an image of our differentiated, integrated, and updated curriculum. And uh, this changes every year, so I just wanted to give you an image of it, which is that we have three terms. Fall is September to December. Spring is January through April. And summer is May, June, and part of July, um, with some of the summer left over. Um, we also have three years in the program. So three terms, a kind of trimester system, and then three years. And as Katie was mentioning, the first year is course heavy, some pre-practicum uh, involvement in schools, three hours a week. Second year, practicum, 10 hours a week in schools, um, an intensive connection with the consultation and intervention courses as they go through their practicum, using those in the school system, using those classes, applying the learning in the school system. And then internship is really a full-time commitment, as if you were a school psychologist. Um, all of our interns this year received a stipend from their districts, um, anywhere between 15 to 20 something thousand dollars. Um, that helps ameliorate the cost of uh, this program, which we're very aware of. So I wanted to say a bit about the application process. Most people are really worried about their GRE test scores, and I gotta say, as a school psychologist, a good school psychologist would never take one test and uh, conclude facts about the student and neither do we. So we are really interested in the constellation of pieces here. Um, specifically, the personal essay is really important to us, your narrative about where you've been, 
What kind of work has set you up for success in this program? Um, how do you see yourself in the future? Uh, really important are the letters of recommendation from uh, research projects you've been involved in or volunteer experience in schools, after school, teaching, residential treatment, whatever real world experience you've had with pre-K 12 students, we would like to hear about uh, and highly uh, emphasize that practical experience part because we uh, assume that uh, students did well academically as part of their undergraduate work. So I wanted to just highlight what some dates are, and these aren't specific, but they're uh, general enough to make sense, which is that mid-December is when our application deadline happens for the following fall. Mid-February is when we do group interviews. Uh, on campus here, you get to meet students um, who, like Katie and others who are involved in the interview process. It's a really important time to not only check out our, to not only allow us to see who you are and what, uh, what your interests are and what your questions are, but also for you to interview us and make sure it's a good fit because this profession is all about really understanding the role of the school psych, as I said before, how it differentiates from other professions. And um, so we get really good applicants. We, you need to make sure that school psych is the right profession for you. So I would suggest doing information interviews with local school psychologists. You could email me and I can hook you up with a present student who would be interested, willing to talk to you. And then by mid-March every year, we put acceptance letters in the mail for students to join the new cohort in September. Well, that is a brief overview of our program. I wanna thank you for your interest, not only in our program, but the, the profession at large. As I mentioned, we see ourselves as social justice advocates doing really important work to uh, create access and equity within school systems, for, especially for children who are struggling either behaviorally, academically, and their families. And we see our work as very important, and uh, we see you as a very important part of our program. Our students uh, tend to be, as I say, very strong and bring a lot of great experience. For that, we're really grateful, and we hope to see your application. I would be happy to um, follow up with any emails. There's my information, um, as well as Elena Diamond, who is the pro program co-director with me. Kate Jaspers is part of the program team. Any of us would be happy to respond to an email with questions. And once again, if you're interested in speaking with a present student, you could send me an email and I can try to get you connected with them. So once again, thank you for your interest. and. Best of luck putting together your application and your next steps. Thank you.